Hello, in this short video I'll show you how to use the power dissipation equations P equals IV, P equals I squared R, and P equals V squared divided by R. I'll show you how to use these equations to work out the power dissipated by a resistor, or indeed any other component. Let's begin with a couple of example circuits. Here you'll see we have two resistors, 10 ohm and 20 ohm, connected to a 6 volt power supply. In the left hand circuit this has been done in series, and in the right hand circuit this has been done in parallel. Now at first glance we may assume this will lead to a very similar heating effect in terms of the power dissipated by the resistors. That is not at all true as I'll show you now. Let's begin with the series arrangement. Here we know that the, in a series circuit the current will be constant around the circuit. Therefore if we want to work out the power dissipated by one of these resistors, let's begin with the 10 ohm resistor, we would have to use P equals I squared multiplied by R. The reason for this is that we know the resistance of this resistor and we know that the current through the circuit is constant. If we try to use an equation that contained V we will be stuck because we don't at this stage know the potential difference across this resistor alone. So that's why we must use P equals I squared R. In a real circuit you could measure this current flowing through the circuit. However in this circuit we will just use our equation I equals V divided by R in order to calculate this current. So that would be 6 divided by the total resistance that the current is passing through, which is 30, which will give us 0 0.2 amps. Now we've got that current, we can work out the power dissipated by each of the resistors in turn. So let's begin with the 10 ohm resistor. So power equals current squared multiplied by resistance. The current here is 0 0.2. Square that multiplied by the resistance of 10. That will give us a power dissipated from the 10 ohm resistor of 0 0.4 watts. Let's do the same trick now for the 20 ohm resistor. Again we have P equals I squared R. The current is the same through both components so that will again be 0 0.2 squared but this time we're multiplying by 20 because we're interested in the 20 ohm resistor and that will give us a power dissipation of 0 0.8 watts. So in this series circuit the 20 ohm resistance is dissipating the most power. So in a series circuit, a larger resistor will dissipate more power because the power is proportional to the resistance. Now let's look at this parallel circuit using the same 6 volt power supply and the same 10 ohm and 20 ohm resistors, this time just connected in parallel. We can't use P equals I squared R here because the current through these two branches is going to be different. However, we can see that the potential difference across each resistor is the same. They're both seeing 6 volts. So if we want to know what the power dissipated by the 10 ohm resistor is, this time we'll need to use power equals V squared voltage squared divided by resistance. Our voltage here is 6. So that's 6 squared divided by our resistance of 10, which will give us 3.6 watts. Note that that is already much higher than either of the power dissipations from the series circuit. Let's do the same exercise this time for the 20 ohm resistor. Power equals V squared divided by R in the parallel circuit. This time we have 6 squared divided by 20 ohms which will give us a dissipated power of 1.8 watts. So in the parallel circuit, the 10 ohm resistor, the smaller resistance, is dissipating more power than the larger resistance. And we can see this is because power is inversely proportional to resistance. Let's have a recap of that. In the series circuit, the larger resistance dissipates more power because power is proportional to resistance. 
in the parallel circuit, the smaller resistance dissipates more power because power is inversely proportional to resistance.